Hey fam, welcome to day 219 in my rebellious reality. Coming to you from my couch where I'm breastfeeding my baby. I'm pretty sure she's comfort nursing. She seems passed out. Um, I'm feeling very emotional. Today was a very emotional day. I may or may not have um, liquid drops of fluid fall from my eyeballs expressing uh, emotion that I may still have trapped inside of me. Um, more about breastfeeding or the breastfeeding saga continues. So I did a post, a story like a week and a half ago, maybe during breastfeeding, a, um, World Breastfeeding Week, saying that breastfeeding had actually become enjoyable for me, which it had, but unfortunately it lasted a very short time. Um, my baby girl just turned three months old and uh, a week ago and she or actually less than a week ago and for the past few days I would say like maybe four or five days now when she's nursing she will get the first letdown which is what they call it when your milk comes out my first letdown happens within like 20 seconds she'll get the first letdown Maybe there's a second one that comes and within a matter of two minutes sometimes, she's pulling on my nipple, she holds it and she like moves her head like she like is like this, right? And she'll, she'll hold it in her mouth and she'll go and she'll like stretch her arms and yank on me and clamp down on me and kick me and I cannot tell you how much um, I've been getting triggered by this for so many layers of reasons and you know this is my body and then it's like the pain and you know, it's so hard for me to separate the fact that she doesn't understand what she's doing because I'm feeling the pain and it brings up so much anger and sadness and frustration and like so much, so much. So today, um, this afternoon, I was feeding her again and then it's like every time I'm sitting down for a feeding I'm just like bracing myself to get hurt you know what I mean and um I so it's just like not fun and I'm just doing my best to try to like let it happen you know and uh she just clamps and pulls out of nowhere and I fucking I like screamed and I gave her to Brian right away and I just I fucking lost it I got so angry I just like stormed through my apartment I grabbed my breast pump I have not started pumping she's been exclusively breastfed I really 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 believe in nature like it's probably my religion love and nature are my what I would call my religion and um, I stormed to the top of my stairs, got my breast pump, which has not come out of the box um, since the first time, which, you know, I was told I should wait to pump. And um, so I grabbed it. I uh, boiled it to sterilize it. I got our bottle sterilizer out, which we had never unpacked. It was a registry gift, the bottles, everything. I just, like, got everything ready. And I pumped. I pumped for the first time today. And I gave her the bottle. And it's so, you know, like, then there's all these feelings of how, like, I don't want to be upset with my daughter. Like, I don't want to have anything get in the way of our relationship. I don't 
want to feel this way about nursing her. I don't want to have pain. There's like, there's so many layers of this fucking bullshit, you know? And it's like, I literally grew this child in my body for nine months. My body is not right because of it, you know? I had the worst pain of my entire life pushing this child out of my body for me to then have all of my independence taken away. A person who has an avoidant attachment, which means I need a lot of fucking space, turns into a mother in a moment's notice who's breastfeeding 24-7, who's not sleeping. It's like, when the fuck does this get easier? You know what I mean? So there's anger about that. Like, did I bring another shot? An, did I, I create a human in my body to bring it to life so that it can hurt me? Like, there's just so much. So fucking much. And I'm just really grateful because Brian, like, holds space for my emotions and lets me, like, have it. Have, like, it literally, like, lets it come through me and process out so it doesn't get trapped even though I've realized that I have been trapping emotions inside of me because I don't fucking have time to do the emotional work that I used to do on a regular basis um which I was saying yesterday I need to make time for so it's just been you know in some ways this has been a really productive like nice day and in other ways, this day has just been shit on a stick. And um, after I pumped, came very easily, thank goodness. And she was able to drink from the bottle. And then I gave, I only pumped one breast. So I gave her the bottle. And then um, I gave her my breast. And it was so weird because it almost felt like my breast let down more. My, even though it was the other one I had pumped. And she has not pulled on my nipple since. Um, so. I really. I don't know. I. It's, it's not easy. Shit is not easy. Um, I don't understand. I really don't understand why this is the way it is, you know? What the whole point of all this is. Like, like, why can't it just be easier is what I'm essentially getting at, you know? And then I see all these moms on, all these new moms are like people that I've been following for a while and now they're all new moms and you know it's like people have so many problems with breastfeeding their babies aren't latching their babies are in the NICU they're pumping they're having problems pumping their nipples are in pain they're you know just all the stuff like it's so I don't understand why there has to be so much difficulty to this um and I almost feel like it could be this culture somehow. But I don't need to find something to blame. I don't need a scapegoat. This is one of the things that I've been really struggling with. And um, I just wanted to share. So if you have experienced this and have any insight... I'm hoping that, you know, she seems to go through phases very quickly. I know she's going through a huge developmental, like a huge cognitive developmental stage right now. Her brain is developing. And um, I'm just hoping that this changes soon. So thanks for holding space for me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Please let me know any advice that you have.